On lesson 9, we're going to start uh, building the elements of the final plan of the snapper and then uh, do some work on the internal frame for the horizontal tail. From our last lesson, we finished up the overall design concepts for the uh, fuselage and the vertical tail with the formers and the wing saddle and the, and the beginning of a top view of the wing. So what we're going to do now is just uh, make sure we have the selection tool. We're just going to select all these items we worked on and put them down here. We'll do the final arrangement uh, later on, but this is a good starting point. The other thing that I'd like to do is we'll go ahead and zoom in to the yard ace um, sign here. We'll go ahead and select all of this. You can be any words you want, just as the one I use. We'll copy that. I'm zooming out with a scroll wheel. We're zooming back in and let me paste that in. Remember, everything we draw in TurboCAD is full size, uh, whatever the size of the sign, airplanes, etc. It's a great uh, way. You don't have to worry about ratios or anything like that. Oops, let me get that out of here. We'll just delete. I meant to save. And we'll save right here. Now, let's zoom in. We pick that up. We'll just delete that. Uh, on the text, I just will double click on this to the left um, mouse button, backspace, and we'll put a snapper. S N A P P E R. And we click OK, and there's a snapper, and we'll just center that where we want. Oops. Okay, it's an electric sport flyer. The wingspan, we'll double click on that, is 38 inches. We'll click OK. Uh, the cord is still 6.5 inches. The ready to fly weight, we'll call it. Uh, 10 ounces. For planning purposes, click OK, and it is a low wing design. We'll just center that up a little bit there. So let's go ahead and select all of this, and to make it easy, we're going to make it a group. So that way, whenever we select anything inside, we move it along. If we want to change something, of course, we'll have to explode it to get inside. So that way, we can just kind of uh, keep track of what all we're we're doing here uh, with this final plan here for the snapper. We just uh, don't know what happened with that back there. Hmm. It's just an artifact. Okay, and we'll click save right there for the snapper. Now what we're going to do is spend a little bit of time uh, doing the tail section. We'll go back up here to the snapper frame and snaps are off and we're just going to go ahead and select the horizontal tail. We're going to copy and paste and let's just bring this over to our work area like we have before. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the tail. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, keep these lines here because we're going to draw the tail on a half but we, we Go ahead and get rid of these top lines for now, because we'll mirror that later. And we'll get rid of this, just left select and delete. And I want to keep the basic fuselage structure there, because we want the 1 8 uh, inch, inch members to be over that, just for strength. And of course, this is the middle of the tail right here. So let's go ahead and use the parallel tool. And it's just like before, we just um, go over here, tab 1, eighth uh, enter and we will start to trim just to keep track of this right now this is inside so this is the trim surface uh, this is fine right here and we can get rid of this one here because we've already uh, determined the alignment we'll go ahead and escape to get out of there and then it's just a matter of filling in the rest of the structure with the parallel tool so we're going to have the leading uh, edge is 1 8 inch. Uh, that's positive. So tab 1 8 enter. Uh, we're going to have 1 to go forward for the stabilizer. Tab 1 8 enter. And we'll have to have another one to go aft for the elevator itself. And that's tab negative 1 8. And then we'll just do it uh, one in from here. Uh, tab 1 8 enter same for the end right here and you kind of get the idea uh, tab 1 8 how to do that and maybe we'll just for uh, illustration purposes put uh, one inside uh, here 
the one here, parallel tool, uh, tab negative one over eight, enter. Okay, now the um, center of the uh, stab will go ahead and do a vector from here to here. Actually, it's going to go towards the end, so let's turn off the uh, snaps, shift for a straight line, and we'll just click right there. So this is essentially half of the stab right down. So let's just quickly trim that up, do the mirror command, and you get the idea how to add more structure um, on this. Uh, tell you what, let's uh, select these two right here. Just move that up a little bit here like this, and we'll add one more line. Uh, along here, shift to keep it vertical, parallel, and we'll just do this here, tab negative 1 over 8. And let's just spend a little bit of time with the trim command. It'll be very easy to, to trim this. We'll use this as the cutting edge right here, right here, um, escape, cutting edge, uh, here, 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 escape, and then you can see for the um, inner ones here, we're going to have to uh, break it up. We'll do that here and here, and with the cutting edge, uh, we'll clean this up, escape, and clean this up right here, escape. And you get the idea about how just to make that for uh, all the uh, portions along here. And once you're done with that, Again, the ends are, are pretty easy to do. You can just uh, clear this up along here. And to make this go all the way to the end, just select it. Very easy to drag it out. And then with the trim tool and so forth. Once we're done, escape. Once we're done with all that, it's just another easy command to make the mirror for the other image. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this right here before we do that. And again, we'll clean this up later. We'll go ahead and trim this right now. Uh, again, the mirror command is just like we've done before. We'll go ahead and with the selection, uh, get rid of this line. And with the, uh, and we'll well, well, we'll use that line to rotate it. Well, no, we don't. We're going to get rid of that line because we'll rotate off the end here. So we're going to snap to the vector, uh, to the end of this line and this line, because we know that's the middle. We'll select the whole thing, snap to the vertex, uh, mirror command. Let's zoom in so we can make sure we capture the right ends. It's right there. You can see the little diamond right there. Escape. And um, there is our completed vertical stab. And one trick that'll help you, uh, you can build, this is obviously what you're going to build from. And to help place it on the fuselage, just a technique, go ahead and select it, copy it and paste so we have another working copy. And the trick here is trying to snap, again, the reason to keep the volume on, is let's go ahead and create a group. Now when we've done that, we can't individually select anything, but it's very easy if you see when you want to put it over an existing one, it's all a group, uh, very easy to place it on uh, like that. And if you misplace it or whatever, just go ahead and move it off to the side. So we'll delete that. And this is, uh, oops, we'll go ahead and uh, make this a group again. And just move that down here. Take this little servo, move it over here. And here is the... Uh, vertical tail uh, done there. So you can see large portions of the, um, uh, the airplane is done. And what we'll do in the next lesson is we will draw the landing gear and then the uh, final chap uh, lesson, lesson 11, where we put in the leaders and the final annotation.